Okay, I am going to make a wall niche in this rounded wall. I am going to use it as a popcorn maker holder. So far, I have uh, measured and scored the drywall on one side. In behind, I do have access because of this under the stairs nook. So I am going to okay, let's see where I've scored that all the way up. I'm going to cut out a big chunk here and make it in a shelf. I had to move the, the uh, vacuum hose and I'll be moving that outlet over to there so I have more space and the wires don't get in my way. Okay, so I've cut out the uh, hole. I haven't removed the piece of wood yet. I used a circular saw. I used a sawzall, reciprocating saw, and uh, here's the result. Okay, I have framed in a support for the drywall and MDF. I've made it level here. The uh, MDF is going to be on the bottom and then drywall on the sides and the top. So I added a buffer there so I can screw the ceiling piece in. And I'll show you what it looks like from the side. Okay, so you can see it, it's on legs, so no matter how much weight I put in there, it'll be fine. Again, I don't need this space, so it's going to make a pretty awesome uh, niche. I cut the base of the niche using 3 quarter inch MDF. I used a circular saw and a jigsaw, a little bit of a sanding job on the edge. Fits. And there we go. I have cut out the ceiling to the niche and I cut two holes for these handy dandy LED lights. They're only three inch. Uh, because I have the space in the ceiling, I can march, uh, put them up there. I use the hole saw. Very handy for a quick and perfect hole. These get mounted in there like that. And then I'll have lighting above the popcorn maker. Getting there step by step. I have now finished plumbing the central back. I had to round it around the back. It's up to here. The lights are now in and wired. You can see I have base in and a couple of lights. No power to them yet, but getting there. We have a back. And I'm out of drywall, so we have to get some more. And we have lights. Look at that. Here we are coming in. This time, the castle is going to go right in there. It's going to be a wall right here. It's going to be to see it. And it'll be there for future generations. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's put the pizza. It says, wait, it says, Made a base, large, time capsule by the Amber. Okay. I'm gonna put it on a piece of wood. Alright. Alright, let's 
seal it up. How am I going to get out? I have done some preliminary mudding, taping, and you can see I had to use some of this stuff. This is called uh, Arch Flex, and it allowed me to work my way around the curve on the edge up there. I didn't bother with it on the bottom because the bottom is MDF. Lots of mudding needs to take place and lots of sanding. Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck may protect the popcorn bowl sitting on top of the mantle, but the popcorn niche is complete and they can't protect that. Let's take a look. Here it is, the popcorn maker niche is complete. With decorations on top, Pepsi Cola tin signs, a real popcorn maker, though I won't be using it to make actual popcorn because of the mess and the cleanup and whatnot. However, it makes a beautiful decoration. Popcorn boxes, a bag of kernels, and I even have real popcorn sitting in there. However, I didn't want the real popcorn to go bad, so I have sprayed it with professional Varathane, crystal clear finish. So you wouldn't want to be eating that popcorn. Anyway, and there it is, in all its glory, the popcorn maker niche. If you're interested in finding uh, out how I did the home theater entrance, just click on this link here, and I'll walk you through the steps for making that nice entranceway there and I also have a video on how I did the rounded columns here so just click on that link there you go the popcorn maker niche hope you guys like it feel free to leave a comment check out the links Click one of these videos for more great Burt Bunch TV. And don't forget to subscribe. And here is the finished popcorn niche. The home theater is finished on the inside. It's time to take a look. You can see I've got the movie posters on the walls. 